let's take a look at how we would multiply x plus 2 times x plus 1. Now, if we did this with uh, algebra tiles, we would know that we'd be finding the area. So x plus 2 times x plus 1. And when we did that with algebra tiles, we saw that it was x squared plus 2x, sorry, plus 3x plus 2. So how do we get x squared plus 3x plus 2 without actually uh, using algebra tiles to figure that out? Well, let's just for a second here consider an example that you would have done in the past. So this was multiplying a monomial, because there's only one term here, times a binomial. There's two terms here. And you would remember that everything that's in this bracket here would need to be multiplied by the 2. So we call this the distributive property or the distributive law where we made sure that everything in the bracket was multiplied by 2. So we went 2 times x, that was 2x, and then plus 2 times 3, and we said that was 6. So by multiplying everything in the bracket by the 2, we would get 2x plus 6. Well, just considering the example that we've got here now, it's really no different. I've got some stuff in the bracket here that needs to be multiplied by two things this time in the bracket. So everything in here has to be multiplied by everything here. So I'm going to start with the x and I'm going to multiply the x by everything in this bracket. x times x would give me x squared. x times 1 would give me 1x. But I haven't done anything with the 2 yet, so now I'm going to start with a positive 2 and multiply it by x, and then I'll take the positive 2 and I'll multiply it by the, the 1. And then that will ensure that the x plus 1 has been multiplied by x and by 2. So 2 times x would be plus 2x, and 2 times 1 would be plus 2. And now the last step is simply to collect our like terms. So we have some x squares, those were the, the big green tiles, and there were n there's no more x squares in this question, so we just have the one x squared. Now we're gonna look at the x's, those were the, the little skinny green tiles, and we'd have one x here and two more x's over here, so that would be a total of three x's. And then the little red ones, the little units, we have a plus two, and so collecting our like terms, we would get a simplified answer of x squared plus 3x plus 2. And you can see it's the exact same thing we got when we worked it out with the, with the algebra tiles. So when we're multiplying polynomials, all we need to do is make sure that everything in the bracket is multiplied by whatever's in, in front. Let's consider another example. How about 3x minus 2 times x plus 7? So everything in this bracket here, the x plus 7, has to be multiplied by both of these terms. So I'm going to start with a 3x, and I'm going to multiply it by x. So 3x times x is 3x squared, and then 3x times 7 is 3 times 7, 21x's. Now I'm going to take the negative 2 and multiply it by x, so minus 2 times x, there's minus 2x, and minus 2 times positive 7, is minus 14. Now collecting my like terms. Any more x squares in here? Nope, only have three of those. But I do have some like terms here. I've got 21 x's, take away two x's. So that's 19 x's. And at the end I have a minus 14. And so 3x minus 2 times x plus 7 would be 3x squared plus 19 x minus 14. And you can see this question would be difficult to do using algebra tiles because we need to have 19 of those little x's and 14 of those little little ones. So, but really the process would be the same. You could imagine 3x minus 2 on this axis on the bottom and x plus 7 on this axis and imagine filling in your area. You'd, ha you'd need 3x squares and 19x's and minus 14. So 14 of the little red ones flipped upside down so they show up white. Here's one where students often make a mistake. They'll say 2x plus 5 squared is 4x squared 
plus 25. They'll just square that, 4x squared, they'll square that 25 and say that's what the answer is. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. Never do that. 2x plus 5 squared really means 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5. That's what squared means. Squared means this times itself. So 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5 means we've got to start with this one and multiply it by this and then by this. So that would give 2x times 2x is 4x squared and 2x times 5 would be 10x and then we'd start with next with the 5 and multiply it by the 2x, that's 10x. Then take the 5 and multiply it by the other 5 and get 25. And now collecting our like terms, we'd have 4x squares and the 10x and another 10x is a 20x and we'd get the 25 at the end. So you can see they're not the same answer. 4x squared plus 20x plus 25 is not the same as, as this. It's got some similar terms, but you're missing the, uh, the x's in the middle. So just remember when you have a square, the thing I do is I write it out twice and then work it out just like we would do some other ones. Let's consider another example. So this last one's a bit tougher. I've got three terms here. A monomial, one term. Here's two terms. There's a binomial. And this term here is called the trinomial because it has three terms. And a polynomial, of course, is just any anything that has more than one term. So the binomial is a polynomial and so is the, the trinomial because it has more than one term. So, and this one, oh yeah, a little bit trickier because it got x's and y's in them. So we just have to be careful when we're collecting our like terms at the end. So when you have something like this, just, just take it one step at a time. Everything in this bracket here has to be multiplied by what's in front. So I need to multiply everything in the bracket by two. So I'm going to do that first. This times this. So two times x would be two x minus two times five y. Two times five is ten. So now my question looks like this. Two x minus ten y times two x squared minus three y plus five. So now I've got it down to just two brackets to multiply. Everything in this bracket has to be multiplied by what's in front. So I'll start with the 2x and multiply it by 2x squared. 2 times 2 is 4. x times x squared is x cubed. Then 2x times minus 3y. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. x times y we can write as xy. Now I take the 2x and multiply it by the last term. 2x times 5 is 10x. And then I'm going to start with the minus 10y now and multiply it by all three of these terms. So negative 10y times positive 2x squared. So negative 10 times 2, negative 20. And y times x squared. Usually write the x's first, so x squared y. Then minus 10y times minus 3y. Negative 10 times negative 3, positive 30 y times y is y squared. And lastly, the negative 10y times the positive 5, negative 10 times positive 5, negative 50, and then we have the y. So there it is, completely expanded. Now we've got to hunt through and see if we've got any like terms. So 4x cubed, any more x cubes in here? Nope, 4x cubed. Now we have some xy's, do we have any of those in here? No. So minus 6xy, 10x, nope, oh look at what's happening here. We don't have any like terms in this question. So we didn't even really need to write this line, but sometimes you will find like terms and you would want to make sure that if they are like terms that we combine them together. So this one's a little more tricky, but it's still done the same way. Everything in the bracket multiplied by what's in front, only this one, we had to do this first to get this. And then we took everything in this bracket and multiplied it by the two terms here. And in this case, we didn't even have anything to, to simplify because there were no like terms. So then to review how we'd multiply polynomials, the first thing we would do is we would multiply all the terms in the second bracket by the terms in the first bracket. So 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x, 
then minus 3 times x minus 3x minus 3 times 1 would be minus 3 and then finally step 2 we would simplify by combining our like terms so in this question we did have two like terms here the x's so 2x minus 3x would be minus 1x or just minus x minus 3 so that's how we would multiply polynomials